Good morning and welcome to beautiful Pickett, Wisconsin on this early October fall day. There's a little bit of a bite in the air but it's just a spectacular day. Very light winds, cool temperatures and it's a perfect day to run an engine. So what I've got on the stand here is a Super Tiger G40 sport engine that was in a box of engines that Kirk sent me. This is the second time I will have been running this engine. The first one was just a garage run just for proof of life. But it didn't come with the stock Super Tiger exhaust, so I took the exhaust off uh, the engine, the Weber 61, Speed 61 engine that I had. It just so happened to be a clamp on and it fit and it works fairly decent. In fact, it has really cool sound. The only drawback to this carb is, or this uh, exhaust, is that if I have to make any kind of carburetor low speed adjustments, I'm going to have to stop the engine to do it because there's just no way that I have a sight line for that low speed adjustment screw. So I've got some cool power, 10% fuel here. I've got an OS number 8 plug and I've got an APC 10.6 prop. So let's fire this thing up and get some tack readings on it and see how it does. All right. Let's see how she takes a prime today. Very well, very well. I don't know if it's going to hand start or not, but we can give it a shot. Okay, that's enough of a shot. Okay, that's impressive. So you may say, why are you making such a short video? And I'm saying, because now after seeing that, I'm not gonna touch it. I'm gonna, fl I'm gonna put the fuel tank from this other engine run on here, which is 5% fuel with caster and replace it with this and see what our readings are now, because that was really unexpected for it to be running that good of an RPM or that high of an RPM for a 40 size engine. Okay, so I've swapped tanks. 13,820 was the peak I saw on that, but it was doing, you know, well over 13,000. So let's see how she does with this fuel, because that was quite impressive. Feels like maybe we have some bearings that could use some help. This may need bearings.
Kind of sounds like that front bearing on the bearings are probably going to need to be replaced. Just for giggles, I put the um, cool power tank back on here again just to see if we can reproduce those same readings that were around 13,600, 700, something like that. Or if this engine was just kind of a it was a fluke. Man, these front bearings feel kind of... Yeah, I don't know now. This may really need some bearings. Maybe it needs the plug. Now I have a feeling either my knife starter is dead or that plug got eaten in that run. Okay, yeah, so that plug was done, and for the record, that was the Chinese counterfeit plug. This is a, a brand new Fox RC short plug. Okay, so that was incredibly interesting. So the first segment, first run with this setup, not that plug, that Chinese OS number eight plug that only had about five runs total on it before that, if even. Counterfeit Chinese number eight plug. It did like, it, I saw a peak of 13,830. I don't know if, when I was running it, I had to check the video if it was actually holding that or not. Then I just swapped the tanks, left the plug the same, put the 5% fuel with caster in it. Obviously, I expected it to have lower RPM, but it just didn't sound right the whole time. And it was kind of surging and all that. And I wonder if during that particular run, if that plug was going. I think it was. I think that plug was on its way out during that entire run. So this run, when I put the Fox RC short plug in here, brand new, 13,610 was the peak RPM. So this is a screaming little engine. Um, to me, I think I think it feels like it needs bearings. I don't know that there's any in, in play, but it just, this noise, I don't know. Whether I'll change bearings on this engine or not, I don't know. All I know is it's a nice running engine. It seems to be tuned really well. I can't recall if I, I think I probably did my uh, initial carburetor setup on it so the mid-range is really good but this is a screaming engine really nice engine so boy that was really really interesting and I also have 
not a new opinion of the Chinese OS glow plug, but just what did you, what do you think? I mean, it, it lasted what six runs maybe, and that was not an atypical lean out of uh, of an engine that another person or anybody else would do. So, in my opinion, I haven't blown any glow plugs in years, literally in years, and that's the first one that has died on me. So. To me, that tells me something anyway. Stay away from those piece of crap Chinese counterfeit glow plugs. Thank you for watching.